Hi everyone, my name is Ian, and I'm excited to give a short introduction to a project that I've become passionate about. So, a year ago, I went to a few museums in the Washington DC area. It was a really hot day, and there were really big crowds of people, and I started to get tired. I thought, hey, I'll just duck out a bit early and check out what I missed on the museum's website. To my surprise, I discovered that most museums don't have their exhibits online. This didn't seem right to me. Today we have these incredible magic pocket computers that we carry everywhere, and museums should be on them. So I created Vermuse. Vermuse is a social platform designed to bring museums online. Just like in the real world, a museum on Vermuse is made up of exhibits, except the exhibits are in a web browser. They're made up of lots of different kinds of content, like photos, videos, 3D models, audio, maps, interactive timelines, quizzes, and surveys. It's easy to drag and drop stuff from anywhere into an exhibit, and it automatically compiles into a long-form document that you can browse, complete with a little navigation menu on the side, both on your computer and on your phone. Museums and exhibits are open to the web publicly. Visitors can enjoy them even without registering an account on Vermuse. Just like many social networks, Vermuse gives you the ability to follow stuff. You can follow museums, users, and even topics like science, nature, or animals, and receive news and updates. If you open your own museum, you'll see who followed it, who liked it, and who wrote how much they loved it in the guestbook. You can even invite other users to help you build more exhibits as contributors. One of the coolest features of Vermuse is that even though the exhibits look like regular blog posts or articles, you actually build them with little mini programs called widgets. This allows exhibits to be living documents that change over time. You can add, remove, or rearrange the widgets in an exhibit, and all of these changes will show up in a newsfeed for people following your museum. Say for example you have a museum of dinosaurs. One dinosaur, a huge long-necked sauropod called Brontosaurus, was only recently brought back as its own species in 2015 after a lot of scientists argued for a lot of time. So, if we take our dinosaur exhibit and add a section about Brontosaurus, it will show up in a newsfeed for all of the followers of the Dinosaur Museum. So, the big question. If you're running a museum, how can putting your exhibits online help you? The best answer I've got? Money. Vermuse will always be free to creators, whether we're talking private collectors or huge government-funded institutions. Museums rarely have the budget to create complex websites to showcase their collections, and now Vermuse is here to change that. How can we offer this for free? By allowing creators to add separate paid sections. That means you, the museum creators and not us, decide what is available for free and what you want to charge for. Say you have a natural history museum. You can make most of the permanent collection free for visitors, then charge a dollar to visit the new Blue Whale exhibit. Vermuse would take something like 10% for processing and running the site, and you get 90% of that revenue. Remember, this is for visitors who might never set foot physically in your museum, who could even be on the other side of the planet. Now, we haven't created this ability yet, since we're just launching now. We first wanted to get feedback both on the design and how you would like this upcoming feature to work. Vermuse also raises awareness of your museum. I've been to many incredible collections that I never would have heard of were it not for sheer luck. And Vermuse will allow people to share stuff from museum that can go viral and generate lots more interest in visits. Unlike physical museums, there is no limit on the amount of space you have on Vermuse, so you can display items that would normally be in storage. We also have lots of future plans, including generating personalized museum visits that users can share on social media, using sensors in physical museums for our upcoming mobile app, online gift shops, and possible corporate sponsorships of exhibits. There's a lot on our plate. Let me address one last concern, that if exhibits are online, people will stop visiting museums. To counter this notion, I'm gonna use the most extreme, over-the-top example I can think of. And here it is. This is a picture I took just a week ago. Everyone knows what the Mona Lisa looks like. Everyone can close their eyes and almost see it. And yet, over 5 million people visit the Louvre each year, with this painting being the star attraction. Yes, the Mona Lisa is an anomaly. And I chose it as an example because, well, its insane popularity is funny to me. However, it shows that people want to see art with their own eyes, to take a photo with it, to truly experience it, and let's be honest, in these days of social media, to let all their friends know they were there. 
Museums are about these experiences, about actually being somewhere, and no two-dimensional exhibit on a page will ever replace that. I hope you're intrigued by what you've heard, and this is just scratching the surface of what Vermeuse can do. We've now opened Vermeuse up, and while we have a beautiful platform, it's nothing without content. Please check out some of the links in the description to see some examples, and feel free to register and start creating. As well, any feedback, feature requests, or <coughs> bug reports are welcome. Thanks for watching. Bug report.